I'm gonna try to do all the 30 bases that Dilo does. And at the end, I'm gonna check out if I can add some bases he didn't do. Oh, but that's not just an inward base, it's Dilo's inward base. Wow. Wow. Come on, Maddox, one more base. One more base. Yo, what's up, my current official beatbox? Welcome back to another video with you by Maddox, aka Man of Culture. Today I'm going to watch Dilo's video that is called One Beatboxer, 30 Bases. I'm not only going to watch it, but I'm also gonna make a challenge out of it. I'm gonna try to do all the 30 bases that Dilo does. For every base that I can add, I'm gonna get one plus point again. And at the end, I'm gonna check out if I can add some bases he didn't do. So let's see if I can end this up with plus points. Let's get into the video. Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Dilo and this is 30 vocal bass sound effects. Right. Okay, easy one. He has a different texture to it, of course, but that's also like throat bass always is depending on how your voice sounds. Okay, vocal lip oscillation. That's actually one of my special sounds. If you know, <laughs> I use it actually a lot. Yeah, it's not that special, but it's one of my signature sounds, I would say. I can't do this combo, the click combo. Ah, close. Ah, so close. <laughs> But it's not about the click combos or anything, it's just about the basis, so no minus points here. Oh, he can also go low. I think I actually can go lower with this. But it's so hard to get low with this one. One of the lowest lip oscillations that I ever heard is actually the one of Supernova from middle school. If you remember his tag team battles uh, mid with middle school, uh, last year at GBB. I think what he does is, is not octaving it. So this is octaving it. So the lip oscillation is one octave lower than the voice, but then I think he does two octaves lower. Yeah, but I'm not really sure how to do it. It sounds dope though. Drink some water in between. Next base. Ah, oh, but that's not just an inward base, it's Dilo's inward base. What I think what Dilo does different is he's way tighter in the throat than others. Wow. 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 Not sure if this is a minus point for me then. I mean, I kind of get the technique, I just don't really get the sound. Let's make it minus 0 0.5. Minus 0 0.5. Yeah, 
Yeah, when I, when I do it, I actually do more of the technique of Alexinho. Where you put the, like, you bite your teeth together. Like this, you can go way lower. And slower. The one of Dilo is more with the open mouth. I actually don't use it as much. What? Anyways, we're here for the basses. Click row sub bass. Okay, wait. Is this different than the other one? Yeah, this one is higher. And the sub bass is just lower. Yeah, just different pitch. It's not really a different bass then. Just different pitch. Yeah, but let's not get picky on this one. <laughs> High octave vibration bass. But wait, he didn't do the... Ha! I think that's one plus point for me. <laughs> so right now I'm plus 0 0.5. Let's keep going. High octave bass. I didn't know this is called high octave bass. <clears throat> But it makes sense, it's like the foundation of the vibration bass, at least um, the one I'm using. That's the low version of this one. He's not doing this in the video though, does he? No, I didn't do it! Ha! That's one more plus point for me. <laughs> Okay, lip roll bass, top lip. Yeah, really basic lip roll, I would say. Bottom lip. Oh, I didn't know um, you differentiated like this. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, because it yeah it does feel like here the upper lip is vibrating more, and here the bottom lip. Nice differentiation. I didn't know there's a difference in naming. <laughs> what is this? Okay. Anyways, don't think this is a minus point. What if I can't do it? It, it, it wasn't a category, right? Bro, sub bass. For sure, I can do that. Oh. Yeah, it takes a lot of air. What? 
Okay, can't do the laser base. No. Okay, minus one point for me. Okay, so we add 0 0.5 again. <laughs> Chest base. Oh, need to drink some water for this one. Because <clears throat> I'm not really used to doing chest base. Doesn't sound that special, but when he does it, it also doesn't sound so special. Inward chest base. Okay. I thought inward base is always chest base. <laughs> Maybe it's more like. When he does it, it sounds really thin though. Am I better with inward chest bass? <laughs> no, 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 just kidding, just kidding. It's, yeah, it's, it feels like a different type of inward bass. Like the normal inward bass that he showed at the beginning sounds way better. <laughs> Chest bass for Sado. For sure I can do that. <laughs> Not that good though. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Vocal chest bass. <laughs> Vocal chest bass trumpet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know how to get the, the trumpet sound inside though. <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm missing the last texture. Yeah, so let's say a half zero, a half minus point. We had zero again. <laughs> okay. Eight oh eight kick bass, outward sub bass. Yeah, this one was popularized by Pash. He's insane with this. If you remember, I think 2017, Tag Team Bell, Mad Twins. That was this crazy drop where Pash did this one and Jayden did the synthesizer with the tapping throat. Insane. On to this guy! I'm not so good with pitching though. Cyclone liberal. 
That's kind of a whistle inside. Okay, can't do that. <laughs> minus one point. So we're at minus one point right now. Damn, gotta keep up. <laughs> Only bass, least bassy bass. He also does it like, and the tongue is like on the lip. I can't do it inside. But he also does it outside. So, yeah. <laughs> I think a good example for this is Amit. He's, he's sick with this. Lip oscillation. Is it this one vocalized though or not? I'm not sure right now. If you practice it well, you don't, you can't really recognize. Like when I vocalize it, it's and without the vocals, it's it, does, it has less resonance without the voice. So with voices and without this. If you remember, I did this actually in a special way, I would say, um, in my BBU round, Drive. And I also can do it with throw bass. I think D-Lo can't do it with throw bass. It's kind of like the one that Footbox G is using. The but Footbox G is creating the vibration with the tongue. Ah, this one. But when I'm doing it, it's more with the lips. But it's both with throw bass. So I guess Dilo can't do it with throw bass. That's one plus one for me. So we had zero again. Oh. Tongue bass middle. Be honest, I'm not using this one a lot. <laughs> ah, I can't get the uh, like the sounds like vocalist, but it's not. But yeah. Oh, when he's doing it, it sounds so good. <laughs> Yeah, like he gets a nice pitch inside. Oh, I can't pitch it that well. Okay, I can do it though. Minus 0 0.5. Minus 0 0.5. Okay, so we had minus 0 0.5 again. <laughs> Tongue by side. Can do it definitely. Ha! I think though he can't do like the duck sound combination with the tongue bass. Yeah, this one was, I did this like 10 years ago. Back then, tongue bass was really popular. Babeli in Germany was popularizing it. And of course, Shadow Sumo was using the Shadow Sumo technique. 
2H also uses tongue bass, but I think 2H was more like inwards. But yeah, this was a crazy sound back then. Back then we didn't have lip rolls. Come on, how else would we do sub bass? Yeah, so he didn't do he didn't do it with a he didn't do it with the it's kind of layering it, so I would say 0. 0. 0.5 points for me. So we had zero again! Yes! Drill base. Oh, that one rattles your head. Wait, is this the one I was just doing? Ah, yeah. It's a it's a bit different though. Like. It's not like. It's more like. Yeah. Nice. Overtone tongue bass. Oh, I can't pitch it that well like him. Mm. Oh, that's so dope. No, I can't pitch it at all. One minus point at me for me. So wait, we had minus one now? Are we? Yeah, I think so. Man, where's the bass? S. What's that? <laughs> That's inward bass with the. Wait, he does the like this, right? By the way, about the snare, I think the works better on a stage microphone because it has a more attack at the beginning. And it's more with the lips. When he does it, it's like a bit like softer. But it's not about snares right now. It's about basses, but I think I can do it. My texture is not that good though. But let's not be too picky with this one. Static bass. Is it this one? Yeah. I think mine sounds a bit different though. Like you can train to talk like dub like the dub like the dub guy <laughs> and then you try to do chest bass
<laughs> I think Dilo and me, we're both not that good for this one. <laughs> like when you listen to Slither, his sounds better this, than this. Yeah, easy. really do the hollow lip bass. Okay, that's, let's say half my minus points, we're at minus two right now. Minus three, still can't do hollow lip rolls. Hey guys, I don't know if there's 29 or 30 in the video. I think Electra bass got cut out, so here it is. <laughs> ah, okay, Electra. Ah, it's actually one of his special sounds. Wow, how did how did he miss his one of his special sounds? So. So it's like kind of like lip roll, but but like teeth on the feet, and then you try to do a zipper. Pitch it up like him. Okay, is this a minus point for me? Half a minus point. So we at minus 3.5, if I was counting correctly. Maybe my editor can count it together and let me know. <laughs> so minus 3.5. So I need to think about three and a half bases he didn't do. He didn't do the... <laughs> vocalist inward lip roll. <laughs> I think he can do it, but he didn't do it in the video. Still, and also can do it. <gasps> like with the inward fry. <laughs> Yeah, let's count this as one and a half. Can we say one and a half? So it's minus two. What else did he do? Like the metal guitar bass. I, I, I call it like that. It's not really metal, but it's like... It's like throw bass with the... Kenny Urban also uses this. So with this one, we had minus one. Okay, come on, Maddox. Vibration bass I already did, right? One more bass. I need to come up with one more bass. <laughs> yeah, I can't really do it. <laughs> I 
No, can't really do it. Could be one, but I can't really do it. Ah, I have a different laser base. So this is like replacing his laser base. So, woo! I'm at 30 baselines now too. To make even an improvement on this one, let's think about one more base even. Then I would actually beat him. <laughs> Come on, Maddox, one more base. One more base. Ah, my trombone bass. Ha! So it's kind of like... And with the propers at the same time. So yes! 31 bass lines! <laughs> yes sir! But this was not a competition. I guess... I guess Dilo can do more. It was just like he was challenging himself to do 30 bass lines. I guess so. Maybe he can't do more than 30. Then I can do more than him. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Quick and easy. Hope you enjoy. If yes, please leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And if you want to learn in what bass together with me, I got a video for you right here.